Hey everybody, welcome to the Moscato Minute, episode 3. Uh, today on the Moscato Minute, we're going to talk about sex and shit that goes on your body when you're having sex. I also have a guest star today. Her name is Kara, and she's going to scoot her way in right now. Hey! Uh, Kara is one of my biffers, also known, you know, as like a best friend. If you don't know what a biffer is, um, I love her. Biffer! I love Sam. <laughs> we're inappropriate <laughs> together, but it's okay because we're us. But in public, we probably shouldn't do the things that we do. Probably not. <laughs> but it's okay because we do them anyways. <laughs> there we do. Who that? Who story? Um, but first off, we're going to talk about sex. Sex. Um, earlier we were talking about... <laughs> earlier we were talking about spanking. <laughs> And um, Karen and I both brought up the point that we like being spanked. We do. Um, but Kara said that she knows girls who don't like it. They don't like it. <laughs> do you, I want, why don't the girls that don't like being spanked, why don't they like being spanked? Do you know? The only reason I know is because they don't like it because they, they don't want it. <laughs> they don't and, want it. <laughs> and it's weird to me because I know, you know, it's weird for me to be watching this, but um, I think it's on the Speed Channel. They have Mansers, and I used to watch that all the time, and they actually had one where it talked about if being spanked is like a legitimate reason to be turned on, and it, find, it turns out that being spanked is actually the nerves in your ass are literally linked to the nerves in like your vagina and or penis, depending on your gender. <laughs> So being spanked is a legit Vagina way. Vagina or penis. <laughs> so being spanked is a legit way to be turned on. And so girls who don't like being spanked just don't like being spanked because they feel like they're being kinky bitches and they don't want to be kinky bitches because they're little pussy ass bitches. And that's all that fucking Very much. Um. That wasn't even in there. I thought it was. It wasn't. <laughs> Next on the Moscato Minute, Freddy Whip! We're gonna talk about the little guy bar. Mm. We're gonna talk about food sex. <laughs> How many of you like to put shit on yourselves or on your significant other when during for foreplay or regular sex? Me! Me! Um, in my current library of things that I like to put on people, I have extra creamy ready whip, bam, which is delicious and not nutritious. I also have the Victoria's Secret, uh, massage oil, vanilla, like kissable massage oil, vanilla kiss, which tastes like vanilla frosting and is fantabulous. And it's fucking Amazing. <laughs> I've lifted off Kara several times today. And I've lifted off Sam a couple times today. <laughs> including our cleavage. The cleavage. Everybody loves cleavage. Boobs. Man or female. Everybody loves titties. Everyone loves the titties. If you've never had this before, um, I suggest buying it. It's not expensive and it's delicious. Um, girls, you don't like giving head. Um, that's why I bought it originally. I didn't like giving head, and so this was like an incentive to suck on the penis. Suck on the penis. <laughs> so go ahead and purchase this at Victoria's Secret. It's not expensive, and it lasts forever because a little bit goes a long way. Don't use too much because then it's ovary, sh oh, ovary, <laughs> overly sugary, and you, nobody wants that. Nobody no. wants a diabetic coma just because you're sucking a dick. Or if you're hypoglycemic, you don't want to get high blood sugar and then drop to a low blood sugar like. I like Kara. Nobody likes that. Um, Kara and I are both wearing my old volleyball jersey today. This one's from my freshman year. I was number six. This is from my sophomore year. I was number 11. Boop, boop. The colors were actually blue and yellow, so asking me why this jersey is orange and blue doesn't make any sense because there's no real reason. Blue except we both had on colors and I lost. <laughs> like I was saying, blue and yellow, blue and yellow. Blue and yellow, blue and yellow. We have somebody over in the That's corner it, behind us who is like 
trying to input stuff without actually being a guest star, but he's about he's to be awesome. a guest star whether he wants to be or not. It's Dustin, he's he can, awesome. He's my little. And for those of you who don't are not in a fraternity or sorority or anything, you may not know what a little is, but he's my little. Oh. She's actually my big. <laughs> this is Dustin. So I'm, Dustin, I'm her little who's older. I'm, he's her. my grand little. What is your opinion on Ready Whip? I believe I bought the first can for this group. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> that was a fail. Good job. I believe I'm the one who introduced the uh, extra creamy Ready Whip for this group. Oh, there we go. Okay, I about that. Ah, I'm gonna look at you. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, so Ready Whip, great stuff. Right, great stuff. Ah. Oh. What about the kissable and oil? Not too bad, not too bad. Did you, Did you find it? it delicious? I, I like the ready whip because as I discussed earlier, I like doing lines Wait, and Wait, did you try this stacking, though? Like, he did. Yes, I did. Try it again. I like... Uh, <laughs> yep, vanilla. Um, I, I like doing the ready whip, like, down, and then throwing food in there, like some strawberries, cherries, things like He's that. He's gonna make it for us. Eating it, yeah, eat down the line, and then you just kind of continue down the line after the food disappears, and you go crazy for it. Dustin yeah. is known for his um, cream cheese filled strawberries that make women want to marry him. They are called panty droppers. They're called panty droppers. They panty work. droppers. This right here is a panty dropper. Oh, uh, 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 uh. All right, I'm not going to go into it. But anyways, yeah, like I said, he's known for his strawberries. And he's apparently a bigger fan of the Ready Whip than he is the massage bowl. Um, that's all that we have for you on the Moscato Minute this week, or I guess I shouldn't say this week, this episode, because there will be one that'll be recorded on Saturday, but probably won't be posted until Sunday, so look for us on Sunday, we're super pumped to see you, Tressa, and Tressa will be here, so that's super good time, Tressa, get the fuck out of here, <laughs> <laughs> I love you all, keep it classy, Basis. deuces.